unfortunately, in today's day and age, you know, you got to be careful. You know, I'm not sure why in this neighborhood, but, you know, like I said, it could be at any given place at any location. Robbed at the ATM. Two men caught on camera holding up a woman at gunpoint. This happened at the ATM at the PNC Bank in Carnegie. The robbers got away with some cash, but police are hoping the surveillance images will help catch them. Ralph Iannotti is live in Carnegie. Ralph. Uh, thanks very much, guys. Uh, it's something most of us, many of us, do routinely. We drive up or walk up to an 8 p.m. like this one in Carnegie, uh, make a withdrawal or a deposit, and then go on our way. Well, a woman was here in Carnegie last night to make a withdrawal, but somebody was watching. In Carnegie, it's very unusual. Police said a middle-aged woman was robbed at gunpoint at this ATM outside of PNC Bank on West Main Street in Carnegie. She withdrew. $50 from the Mac machine, and as she was walking back to her car, she was approached from behind by two males. Reaction to the robbery here was one of surprise. And there's not always a lot of people here, even just during the day, but I would say when it starts to get dark, you might want to think twice. Of course, unfortunate, but it probably could happen anywhere. I mean, I've been banking here for probably the last 10 years, and I think it's a relatively safe place. The holdup took place Monday night just before 9 o'clock. The two suspects wore bandanas to cover their faces. Their images were captured on a surveillance camera. One of the suspects was armed with a dark semi-automatic handgun. We believe the actors are one black male, one white male. The white male had a firearm, pointed it at the victim, and demanded the money. No shots were fired during the stick-up. The guy armed with a gun was about six feet tall with a thin build wearing gray shorts with a red trim. He had his dark socks pulled up and wore black shoes. She's upset. She's distraught. She's you know, nervous. I was pretty shaken up when we were talking to her. Okay, now tonight the Carnegie police are continuing their investigation looking for these two suspects. But what happened here 24 hours ago should serve as a reminder to remain vigilant, especially when you go up to one of these machines at night. We're live tonight in Carnegie. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.